Welcome to Opa Books. We bring you a variety of audiobook novels, ranging from thrilling suspense to sci-fi adventures. Whether you're commuting, enjoying some leisure time, or winding down before bedtime, Open Books is here to accompany you. Chapter 1. Grand Opening Fantasy Night Under the canvas of a twinkling, starlit sky, the annual unveiling of the Fantasy Factory took place. Children, wide-eyed with anticipation, gathered at the entrance, their hearts pounding with excitement. As the colossal doors swung open, a symphony of enchanting music filled the air, signaling the commencement of a magical journey. Beyond the threshold, a mesmerizing scene unfolded. Giant, luminescent trees burst forth from the ground, their branches adorned with sparkling lights that swayed gracefully to an ethereal melody. The air buzzed with a sense of wonder as the children stepped into a realm of dreams, the fantasy factory. Within this mystical playground, each corner held a secret, each shadow whispered of extraordinary possibilities. The factory walls seemed to breathe with life, adorned with murals depicting whimsical creatures and floating castles. The atmosphere was charged with the sweet scent of adventure and the promise of dreams coming to life. At the heart of the factory, an enormous stage stood bathed in radiant hues, awaiting the grand ceremony. The children found their way to comfortable seats arranged in a semicircle, their eyes fixed on the center stage where a charismatic figure emerged, the Dream Weaver. The Dream Weaver, draped in flowing robes adorned with celestial symbols, welcomed the young dreamers with a warm smile. With a flourish of hands, the skies above the stage transformed into a cosmic canvas, showcasing constellations that mirrored the dreams of the children. A hush fell over the audience as the dream weaver began to speak. Welcome, young dreamers, to the grand opening fantasy night at the Fantasy Factory, echoed the dream weaver's voice, carrying a melody that resonated with the beating hearts of the children. Tonight, we embark on a journey where your wildest imaginations come to life, where dreams are not just dreamt, but woven into reality. As the dream weaver spoke, the factory itself seemed to respond, its walls pulsating with vibrant colors, and the ceiling adorned with celestial lights. The children, spellbound, felt the magic seeping into their very beings. The grand spectacle continued as the dream weaver summoned fantastical beings, whimsical creatures with iridescent wings, playful sprites that danced on the air, and benevolent spirits that shimmered with stardust. Each creature, a guardian of dreams, circled the children, creating a shimmering aurora of enchantment. Amidst the celestial dance, a colossal book appeared on the stage. Its pages turned of their own accord, revealing a map, a map that outlined the adventure awaiting the young dreamers within the fantasy factory. With a flourish, the dream weaver declared, let the grand opening fantasy night begin. The factory transformed into a playground of wonders, with each area unfolding a unique chapter of the night's adventure. The Dream Weaver led the children to the first stop, the gateway of imagination, a portal to a world where the boundaries of reality dissolved and the extraordinary awaited. As the children stepped through the gateway, they found themselves in a sprawling garden, where oversized flowers whispered secrets and vibrant butterflies danced in rhythmic harmony. The air was alive with the fragrance of imagination, and every step forward brought forth new discoveries. Here, at the gateway of imagination, the dream weaver handed each child a golden key, an artifact infused with the essence of creativity. The children were tasked with unlocking the secrets hidden within the garden, revealing the true power of their imaginative minds. As the night unfolded, the children encountered challenges that required teamwork and inventive thinking. They navigated through giant puzzles that materialized from the ground, hopped across stepping stones that played melodies with each step, and discovered hidden passages that led to realms yet unseen. The gateway of imagination became a tapestry of laughter, shared discoveries, and the joy of unlocking the extraordinary. The dream weaver, Watching from afar, nodded in approval as the children's golden keys glowed brighter with each triumph. As the adventure at the gateway drew to a close, the dream weaver guided the children back to the central stage where a magnificent portal awaited, 
the entrance to the next chapter of their fantastical night. The children, their eyes sparkling with newfound wonders, eagerly stepped through, ready for the mysteries that lay ahead. And so, under the celestial embrace of the fantasy factory, the grand opening fantasy night unfolded a magical symphony of dreams, where the ordinary transformed into the extraordinary. And the hearts of the young dreamers beat in harmony with the pulsating rhythm of imagination. Chapter 2 Toy Design Challenge Inside the bustling fantasy factory, the air was charged with excitement as the children gathered in a room filled with gleaming workstations and walls adorned with fantastical sketches. Each young dreamer received a special blueprint covered in arcane symbols and sparkling with a hint of magic. Amidst the hum of machinery and the soft glow of enchanted lights, the kids eagerly unfolded their blueprints. The designs were a kaleidoscope of imagination, robotic unicorns with wings that fluttered, puzzle cubes that rearranged themselves into new shapes, and miniature rockets that promised to soar to the stars. At the heart of the room stood an imposing machine, the Dreamforge, a contraption of gleaming gears and whirring cocks. The children approached it with a mix of trepidation and excitement, their blueprints clutched tightly in their small hands. As the young dreamers fed their designs into the Dreamforge, the machine came to life. Arcane energy crackled, and the room filled with the soft hum of creativity. The blueprints transformed into ethereal projections, hovering above the Dreamforge. The children watched in awe as their 2D drawings metamorphosed into three-dimensional wonders. A soft voice echoed through the room, let your imagination guide the Dreamforge and witness the birth of your dream toys. The first child, Lucy, had designed a whimsical music box featuring tiny creatures that danced to the melody. As she hesitantly placed her blueprint into the Dreamforge, the machine whirred with newfound vigor. The projections merged and twisted, and before their eyes, Lucy's music box materialized, a masterpiece of tiny dancers twirling to an enchanting tune. The other children, inspired by Lucy's success, eagerly followed suit. The room became a symphony of creation as the Dreamforge brought each blueprint to life. Robotic animals with wheels and springs, flying mechanical insects that hovered in the air, and miniature submarines that explored imaginary oceans, all crafted by the boundless imaginations of the young dreamers. As the last design was fed into the Dreamforge, the room was filled with a momentary hush. The machine worked its magic, and the final creation emerged, a towering treehouse with swinging bridges and secret compartments, the culmination of the collective dreams of the children. With their dream toys in hand, the kids stepped back, their eyes wide with wonder. The room transformed into a playground of animated toys, each unique creation showcasing the limitless potential of youthful imagination. As they marveled at their achievements, a magical doorway appeared at the far end of the room. The children, with their newly crafted toys, stepped through, ready for the next chapter of their adventure in the fantasy factory. The door closed behind them, leaving the Dreamforge to rest until the next group of dreamers arrived, ready to bring their wildest imaginings to life. And so, in the heart of the fantasy factory, the toy design challenge became a gateway to a world where creativity knew no bounds, and the magic of childhood dreams thrived. Chapter 3 Dream Toy Assembly Line Inside the fantasy factory, the children's vibrant toy designs embarked on a magical journey through the dream toy assembly line. The air was filled with a symphony of whirring machinery and the gentle hum of enchantment as the designs materialized into tangible wonders. The assembly line resembled a fantastical workshop with whimsical contraptions, each dedicated to bringing the imaginative visions to life. The first stop was the Color Cascade Chamber, where a mesmerizing array of paints and pigments danced in midair. The children's designs gracefully glided through the spectrum, emerging on the other side adorned in dazzling hues. Next, the designs entered the Shapeshifter Station, a place where ordinary materials transformed into extraordinary forms. The once flat and lifeless sketches gained depth and dimension, molding into the fantastical shapes envisioned by the young creators. 
robotic arms delicately shaped and sculpted, adding intricate details to each toy. As the toys progressed along the assembly line, they entered the Giggle Gearbox, a magical contraption designed to infuse the toys with the essence of joy. Giggles and laughter echoed as the toys passed through, ensuring that every creation would bring delight to its future owner. The air was filled with the infectious sound of merriment, setting the stage for the adventures the toys were destined to undertake. The Enchanted Mechanism Chamber was the next stop, where the toys were imbued with movement and interactivity. Tiny cogs and gears whirred into action, granting motion to wings that fluttered and wheels that spun. Each toy now possessed a unique personality, ready to engage with the children who would soon welcome them into their lives. In the Luminary Loom, the toys received their final touch, a sprinkle of stardust that would make them glow with an ethereal light. The room sparkled with the radiant glow of dreams, and the toys emerged with an otherworldly luminosity, promising to illuminate the imaginations of those who would cherish them. The assembly line concluded in the magic conveyor, where the toys, now fully realized, embarked on their first adventure. The conveyor belt led them to a portal that transported them to the toy testing adventure, a realm where challenges and puzzles awaited, ensuring the toys were not only beautiful but also capable of bringing joy through play. In the control room overlooking the assembly line, the children watched in awe as their designs underwent this enchanting transformation. The robotic assistants, with their sparkling eyes, cheered on each completed creation, knowing that they had played a vital role in bringing these dreams to life. As the last toy emerged from the assembly line, a magical melody filled the air, signaling the end of the manufacturing process. The room erupted in applause and the children eagerly awaited the moment when they could hold their dream toys in their hands. Little did they know that these toys were not just inanimate objects. They were vessels of imagination, carriers of dreams, and companions for the adventures that lay ahead. The dream toy assembly line had worked its magic, and the fantasy factory was now filled with the promise of countless joyous moments, thanks to the creativity and wonder of its young dreamers. Chapter 4. Robotic Assistants Within the factory were kind-hearted robotic assistants, small, sparkling-eyed beings always wearing a smile. They collaborated with the kids, using their tiny robotic arms to assist in creating the perfect dream toys and bringing laughter to the process. In the heart of the fantasy factory, where imagination sparked to life, the air hummed with the harmonious whir of gears and the cheerful bleeps of the robotic assistants. These lively metallic companions, each with eyes that glowed with an otherworldly gleam, were ready for their next adventure in toy making. Amid the sea of young dreamers, the robotic assistants approached, their movements synchronized in a dance of mechanical precision. Each child was paired with a robotic companion their new friends equipped with an array of tools that could sculpt dreams into tangible wonders. One such duo was Emma and her metallic sidekick, Spark. Spark had a gleaming metallic body, adorned with a rainbow-colored apron, and eyes that glimmered with mischief. As Emma sketched her dream toy on the magical blueprint, Spark hovered nearby, analyzing the intricate details with digital precision. The assembly line awaited the creative outpouring of ideas. Emma's design featured a whimsical creature with wings that sparkled like stardust. The robotic assistants eagerly embraced the challenge, ready to bring this fantastical creation to life. As the designs were fed into the dream assembly line, Emma and Spark followed, stepping onto a conveyor belt that led to a wonderland of mechanical enchantment. The assembly line was a symphony of motion with robotic arms twirling like dancers and conveyor belts carrying components to their designated stations. Spark, with a sense of playful determination, zipped around, fetching materials and ensuring every piece was in place. Each robotic assistant had its unique skill, from precision painting to intricate detailing. Together, they formed an assembly orchestra, and the factory echoed with the sounds of creativity. The dream assembly line was a realm where imagination and technology melded seamlessly. Magical paintbrushes dipped in hues only found in dreams brought color to the creations. 
The air tingled with the scent of metallic magic as the robotic assistants infused life into each toy, their tiny hands crafting dreams with intricate care. As the dream toys took shape, the robotic assistants orchestrated a mesmerizing display of coordinated movement. Emma watched in awe as Spark juggled miniature stars, placing them delicately on the wings of the sparkling creature. The air around them crackled with the energy of dreams being woven into reality. Once the dream toy was assembled, Spark handed it to Emma with a flourish. The completed creation radiated the essence of wonder, ready to embark on adventures with its future owner. Emma's eyes sparkled with joy as she held her dream in her hands, a testament to the collaboration between young imagination and mechanical marvels. The robotic assistants, proud of their contributions, emitted a symphony of cheerful beeps and whistles. They formed a procession, showcasing the newly crafted dream toys to the awaiting children. Each toy glowed with a magical aura, promising endless hours of enchantment. As the day unfolded in the fantasy factory, the robotic assistants continued their tireless efforts, turning sketches into reality and infusing the air with the sin of creativity. The factory buzzed with laughter and the clinking of tools, a testament to the power of collaboration between young dreamers and their metallic companions. In the heart of the fantasy factory, where dreams took flight on mechanical wings, the robotic assistants and children celebrated the magic of creation. The factory walls echoed with the laughter of joyous dreams materializing into tangible wonders, a symphony of imagination and technology harmonizing in the whimsical world they had crafted together. Chapter 5 Toy Testing Adventure As the children emerged from the dream toy assembly line with their fantastical creations, they were ushered into a mysterious testing area a realm where the walls transformed into giant mazes and the floor became a landscape of vibrant springs. The air crackled with anticipation as the young dreamers clutched their unique toys, ready for the thrilling adventure that awaited them. The moment they stepped into the testing zone, the walls shimmered and shifted, creating intricate mazes filled with twists, turns, and surprises. Each child navigated their own maze, their toys guiding the way. The mazes were alive with colors, responding to the touch of the dream toys, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. In one corner of the testing area, Emma, a bright-eyed girl with a rainbow-colored dream wand, guided her toy through a maze of floating platforms. The platforms responded to the wand's magical touch, changing colors and heights as she skillfully directed her dream creation. With each successful navigation, the maze seemed to applaud with bursts of confetti and joyful music. Meanwhile, Ethan, a young inventor with a robot companion toy, faced a different challenge. His maze was filled with interactive puzzles that required the unique abilities of his mechanical creation. The robot extended its arms, solving puzzles and activating hidden passages. The entire maze resonated with the clanking sounds of the robot's movements, creating a symphony of mechanical marvels. As the children progressed through their individual challenges, the floor beneath them transformed into a landscape of dynamic springs. Each spring carried the young dreamers and their toys to new heights, creating an exhilarating experience. Lucy, a girl with a winged unicorn toy, soared gracefully through the air navigating a series of suspended rings and hoops. The unicorn's wings fluttered with every leap, leaving trails of sparkling stardust in its wake. In another section of the testing area, Jake, a budding scientist with a potion-brewing toy, encountered a whimsical liquid landscape. The floor beneath him became a shifting pool of magical potions, each with a different effect. With careful experimentation, Jake's toy interacted with the potions, creating bursts of colorful bubbles and mystical effects. The air was filled with the enchanting aroma of imaginary ingredients. Throughout the testing adventure, the children encountered interactive installations that tested the creativity and functionality of their dream toys. Musical flowers played tunes when touched, holographic animals responded to the toys' movements, and giant bubbles floated around, capturing the essence of the dream creations. The entire testing area was a playground of wonder and surprises, 
a testament to the limitless potential of the young dreamer's imaginations. In the heart of the testing zone, a central platform awaited the children for the grand finale of their adventure. The platform ascended, revealing a breathtaking view of the entire dreamland. The walls of the maze and the springs below transformed into a dazzling display of lights, creating a dreamlike spectacle that left the children in awe. As the young dreamers and their toys gathered on the elevated platform, a gentle voice echoed through the air, congratulating them on their creativity and bravery. Suddenly, the platform began to descend, and the entire testing area transformed into a colossal kaleidoscope, enveloping the children in a whirlwind of colors and patterns. The dream toys, now infused with the magic of the testing adventure, emitted radiant glows, casting a warm and enchanting light. The testing adventure concluded with a shower of confetti and the triumphant sounds of applause. The children, wide-eyed and exhilarated, exited the testing area, their dream toys glowing with the energy of the magical journey. Little did they know that the most extraordinary part of their adventure was yet to come, the Dream Toy Grand Parade, where their creations would take center stage in a dazzling procession through the dreamland, marking the next chapter in this enchanting tale. Chapter 6. Dream Toy Grand Parade The sun had set, casting a magical glow upon the fantasy factory. As the moon ascended, the factory's interior lit up with a kaleidoscope of colors. The dream toys, now nestled on a colossal parade float, were ready to embark on a journey through the factory's vibrant passages. The float, adorned with twinkling lights and fantastical decorations, began to glide forward. A gentle hum filled the air as the machinery beneath propelled it through the factory's dreamy landscapes. The children, holding their creations, walked alongside, their faces reflecting the radiance of their dreams. The first section of the parade route took them through the enchanted garden, where oversized flowers sprouted from the floor, releasing fragrant scents into the air. Robotic butterflies fluttered around, adding a touch of whimsy to the procession. The dream toys on the float responded to the garden's magic, performing intricate dances and creating a spectacle of moving colors. As the float entered the maze of wonder, the factory walls transformed into towering mazes of mirrors, creating an illusion of endless pathways. The children and their toys navigated the maze, laughter echoing through the reflective corridors. The dream toys showcased their interactive features, dazzling the onlookers with unexpected surprises. Emerging from the maze, the float reached the Rainbow Bridge, a dazzling structure suspended in midair. The children and their toys ascended the bridge, and with every step, it transformed into different hues, creating a mesmerizing display. Below, the factory floor transformed into a shifting sea of colors, mirroring the bridge above. The parade then led into the pixel playland, where the floor transformed into a gigantic interactive game board. The dream toys showcased their gaming features, inviting the children to join in the fun. Giant pixel characters emerged, dancing and playing alongside them, turning the factory into a living, breathing arcade. Next on the route was the Bubble Bonanza, where the float descended into a sea of floating bubbles. Robotic arms from the factory walls blew bubbles of various sizes and colors, creating a whimsical atmosphere. The dream toys rode atop the bubbles, performing synchronized dances that seemed to defy gravity. Entering the cosmic carousel, the float transformed into a spinning wonderland. Celestial bodies adorned the walls, and the dream toys, now equipped with spinning mechanisms, created a celestial ballet. The children on the float experienced a delightful ride, their laughter harmonizing with the celestial music that filled the air. The parade's penultimate segment led into the Starry Sky Symphony where the factory ceiling transformed into a vast canvas of twinkling stars. The dream toys produced melodies, each contributing to a harmonious symphony that resonated through the factory. Robotic fireflies accompanied the music, their synchronized movements adding to the celestial ambience. Finally, the float reached the heartfelt harbor, where the factory floor transformed into a serene waterfront. 
The dream toys, now bathed in a soft glow, performed a heartwarming finale. The children released luminescent lanterns into the air, symbolizing their dreams taking flight. As the last note of the symphony echoed, the float returned to the factory's main stage. The children descended from the float, their faces filled with joy and wonder. The dream toys, having brought their dreams to life, continued to enchant the factory with their magical presence. The Dream Toy Grand Parade concluded with a shower of sparkling confetti, and the children, their hearts brimming with memories, dispersed into the magical corners of the fantasy factory. The night, still young and brimming with possibilities, held the promise of more adventures and dreams yet to be discovered. And so, the fantasy factory, having woven another chapter in its tapestry of enchantment, awaited the dawn of a new day where more dreams would be born, and the magic of imagination would continue to flourish. Chapter 7. Toy Exchange and Sharing In the enchanting aftermath of the Dream Toy Grand Parade, the children found themselves in a special area nestled within the factory's heart. Here, a colossal dream tree stood, its branches adorned with a kaleidoscope of dream toys exchanged among the young creators. Laughter echoed through the air as the children eagerly shared their fantastical creations, cementing bonds of camaraderie. Amidst the vibrant scene, a group of friends gathered under the dream tree, each clutching their cherished dream toy. Emma, with her rainbow-hued unicorn, approached Jake, who held a miniature rocket that sparkled with tiny, glowing stars. Hey, Jake, want to trade for a day? I've always wanted to see my unicorn explore the cosmos, Emma exclaimed, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Jake grinned, considering the proposition. Sure, Emma, your unicorn might just become the first astronaut in the toy universe. As the children engaged in lively exchanges, a mischievous robotic assistant named Spark zipped around, adding an extra layer of magic to the scene. Spark's eyes glowed with delight as it encouraged the kids to swap stories about their toys. Meanwhile, Timothy, a budding engineer, proudly showcased his wind-up mechanical dragon. Its wings flapped with intricate precision, and its metallic scales shimmered in the ambient light. Olivia, a dreamer with a passion for storytelling, approached him with a twinkle in her eye. Timothy, your dragon is incredible. How about a trade? My enchanted quill can bring stories to life. It might inspire even more adventures for your dragon, Olivia suggested, waving the quill in the air. Timothy's eyes widened with curiosity, and with a nod, the exchange took place. The quill now nestled in Timothy's hand, and he imagined the fantastical tales that would soon flow from its tip. Nearby, a circle of friends gathered, forming a mini carnival of laughter and imagination. Clara, a music enthusiast, shared her melodious toy xylophone with Liam, the artist of the group, in exchange for a whimsical paintbrush that brought colors to life. As the night unfolded, the dream tree became a hub of creativity, friendship, and endless possibilities. The exchange toys seemed to carry not only the craftsmanship of their creators, but also a piece of the imaginative spirit that fueled the entire factory. A sudden hush fell over the gathering as the dream tree's magical leaves began to shimmer. The children looked up in awe as the tree seemed to absorb the essence of their shared dreams. It radiated a warm glow that enveloped everyone, turning the exchange into a moment of pure enchantment. In the midst of this magical ambience, Spark, the robotic assistant, initiated a game of toy tag. The toys, now in new hands, embarked on animated adventures, adding an extra layer of joy to the night. The wind-up dragon sword alongside Olivia's enchanted quill, and the miniature rocket raced Emma's rainbow unicorn through a maze of laughter. Under the glow of the dream tree and the sparkle of exchanged toys, the children forged memories that would last a lifetime. Each toy became a vessel of shared dreams, a token of friendship, and a reminder that, Within the walls of the fantasy factory, magic and imagination knew no bounds. As the night unfolded, the dream tree became a symbol not just of the children's creativity, but also of the interconnected dreams that wove them into a tapestry of joy.
The toy exchange and sharing chapter stood as a testament to the power of imagination and the magic that happens when young hearts come together in a celebration of dreams. Chapter 8 Grand Finale with Night Sky Fireworks The night air crackled with anticipation as the final chapter of this fantastical journey unfolded. The enchanting hum of excitement filled the air, mingling with the sweet sin of cotton candy and the distant melody of a music box. At the heart of the fantasy factory, a colossal stage bathed in a soft glow awaited the grand finale. As the last light of day surrendered to the velvety darkness, the factory's magical mechanisms whirred into action. Glowing pathways emerged, guiding the children toward the central stage where their dream toys, adorned with vibrant lights, awaited the spotlight. Each step felt like a dance, a rhythmic progression toward the culmination of their shared dreams. On the stage, a whimsical conductor emerged, a puppet crafted from dreams and animated by the very magic that fueled the factory. With a graceful sweep of its hand, the orchestra of robotic musicians began to play, creating an otherworldly melody that reverberated through the hearts of all in attendance. The dream toys, carried by the children, seemed to come alive in response to the music. Mechanical butterflies flitted around, their wings sparkling with miniature fireworks, and toy rockets shot into the air, leaving trails of colorful stardust. The audience gasped in delight as the factory transformed into a living canvas of light and sound. The puppet conductor raised its hand for a grand crescendo, signaling the commencement of the night sky fireworks. The stars above dimmed in comparison to the kaleidoscope of colors that burst forth. Gigantic dream shapes, a crescent moon, smiling suns, and even a winged unicorn, sprang to life above the factory, creating a mesmerizing display that seemed to transcend reality. Amidst the spectacle, the children and their dream toys danced together on the stage, the mechanical assistants joining the jubilation. It was a celebration of creativity, friendship, and the boundless possibilities of imagination. The night, which began with a single star, now hosted a galaxy of shimmering lights, a testament to the collective dreams woven into the fabric of the fantasy factory. The puppet conductor led the assembly in a chorus of laughter and applause. As the final notes of the musical masterpiece echoed, the night sky fireworks reached their zenith, casting a magical glow that lingered in the hearts of the children below. With a gentle hush, the factory's lights dimmed, and the puppet conductor took a bow, disappearing into the stage's enchanting depths. The children, their dream toy still aglow, descended from the stage, their faces illuminated with wonder and joy. The robotic assistants, their metallic forms glistening with a sense of accomplishment, followed in a procession, their purpose fulfilled. As the children exited the factory, they were greeted by a sky now adorned with a myriad of real stars. The fantasy factory had closed its doors for the night, but its magic lingered in the memories of those who had experienced its wonders. The moon shone brightly, casting a silvery glow on the departing crowd. Under the celestial canopy, the children and their dream toys exchanged stories, laughter, and promises to meet again in the realm of dreams. As they dispersed into the night, the echoes of their shared adventure resonated in the air, a symphony of joy, friendship, and the enduring magic of the fantasy factory. And so, beneath the night sky adorned with the remnants of fireworks, the chapter concluded, leaving behind a tale of imagination that would continue to inspire generations to come. The fantasy factory, having woven dreams into reality, rested until the next opening night, when new chapters of enchantment would once again unfold. If you enjoyed today's story, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. Your support is the driving force behind our continuous creative journey. Look forward to the next episode, where more exciting stories await you at Open Books. Thank you all for tuning in, and until next time, goodbye.